Hi everyone, I am Denizan and in this video I am going to show you how you can use the Easy Skeletal Mesh Merge Async plugin in your project. With this system you will be able to merge your skeletal meshes at runtime so that you can reduce your draw calls and manage your uh, skeletal meshes more easily. So from this features list uh, we can see that we use Async Skeletal Mesh Loading uh, meaning this system uses soft object references to hold the skeletal meshes and uh, we load them asynchronously. Uh, component based, the component is actually a skeletal mesh component uh, and we need to overwrite our default skeletal mesh component in order to use this. Uh, so we don't need another component to handle all of this. Uh, task based, uh, actually we don't uh, handle these tasks uh, in blueprints directly. Uh, we just call some functions that handle these tasks. So let's say that we have uh, call a function that adds some uh, skeletal meshes to our base mesh. And let's say we have uh, called a function that uh, sets or removes some of the skeletal meshes from the character. Uh, the result will be the latest task that has completed uh, so that our final mesh is uh, reliable and usable. And the system is also network ready, meaning the uh, final mesh will be the same across all clients. Whenever we add or remove uh, skeletal meshes that are merging, uh, the result is actually a replicated array. And whenever this array gets changed, uh, all of the clients will see that and merge the meshes on their own. Uh, first, let's enable the plugin. Uh, we go to the plugins and search for Easy Skeletal Mesh Merge Async plugin. Uh, when we enable this, we usually need to uh, restart the editor. Uh, if you see this, uh, the, this plugin, uh, these are the dependencies. We use a dependency called Skeletal Merging plugin. Uh, this is actually an Epix uh, plugin that merges skeletal meshes at runtime. And we use this plugin uh, under the hood to merge our meshes. After you have enabled the plugin, uh, go to your character or any actor you please. Uh, and if you are using a character, you will see that you have a mesh already. Uh, and there is a component class. Uh, whenever you add a skeletal mesh or any component uh, in C++ level, uh, you can overwrite the uh, component class uh, from here. Uh, if you haven't uh, used the C++ to add this uh, skeletal mesh, you can just use the skeletal easy skeletal mesh merge async mergeable and use it instead. But if you are using a character, uh, this this component will be added on the C++ level anyway. Uh, so go to the component class and search for Easy Skeletal Mesh Components, Easy Skeletal Mesh Async Mergeable. Uh, but as you can see, I have this component class of Trailguard uh, Skeletal Mesh, uh, which is just a child of Easy Skeletal Mesh Async Mergeable. Uh, so don't worry about it. Uh, you can just go along with Easy Skeletal Mesh Async Mergeable. So I have opened up my paint to showcase how this plugin works. Uh, as you can see here, we have a base mesh uh, and array of meshes. We load them, we merge them, and we get a new skeletal mesh. Uh, the base mesh by default uh, is the mesh that you have defined on your skeletal mesh. Skeletal mesh assets, as you can see. Uh, all of the skeletal mesh component has this reference. Uh, and after that, we actually in this uh, plugin, we just add this uh, or remove this meshes. We edit this data. And whenever we edit this data, the result will be replicated across all clients. And this part here uh, will be tried to uh, run on every client whenever this base mesh or meshes gets changed. And the result will be uh, the new skeletal mesh and whenever this task gets complete, uh, this result skeletal mesh will be our new uh, skeletal mesh assets. So let's see this plugin in action. 
uh, as you can see here I have opened up my uh, debug view for this plugin and we can see that uh, our base mesh is loaded uh, it is skeleton mesh humanoid character mesh is merge is currently empty and we have some settings here uh, same is for the client uh, let's view some items on the server uh, you will see that uh, it will take time on the client and on the server as well but we can't see it uh, in this view uh, yeah it took some time uh, we can wear more items uh, remove some of these items uh, it works as you can see here uh, yeah uh, the same is for clients uh, as well they can wear and load their items on their own uh, and we can see that uh, our mesh system merge has updated and we have these three items that are completely loaded and uh, the result is same across server and the client as well so how do we use this plugin in blueprints uh, i have opened up my character uh, and get my mesh here uh, we have to cast it to easy skeleton mesh async mergeable in order to in order to use these functions uh, so as you can see here we can add remove set and clear the skeletal meshes merging uh, these skeletal meshes are being the uh, these meshes i have talked about in our paint presentation uh, we can edit this and we can also edit the base default skeletal mesh uh, which is this and this skeletal mesh is being the uh, default skeletal mesh assets uh, from our default uh, skeletal mesh component as i said in the beginning of this video uh, this system under the hood will use a different plugin uh, this plugin is actually uh, skeletal merging uh, which is a default Unreal Engine's engine plugin uh, and it uh, uses this function to uh, merge uh, meshes at runtime and these uh, are the settings that we use uh, in here uh, and also in here uh, as you can see these mesh section mappings UV transfer per mesh if you want to learn more about them you can always check the documentation uh, on the Unreal Engine website uh, basically they are generally uh, used for uh, optimizing the mesh further uh, or customizing it so uh, the merged mesh only uses one material for example uh, and as I said you can learn more about them in here and actually this is it this is how you add remove set clear skeletal meshes at runtime and of course you can set the base default skeletal mesh uh, where do you use these functions is completely up to you i will show you uh, my implementation about it uh, i have opened up my inventory system static data uh, which is uh, displaying an information about an inventory uh, in this case uh, a chest inventory uh, this whole system uh, is another plugin uh, that I developed my own uh, and in this uh, inventory system we have some executions that are running whenever an item gets added or removed from this inventory and one of these executions is called merge skeletal meshes with owner so in the merge skeletal meshes with owner blueprint I have this function here uh, that is running whenever an, an item gets added or removed from that inventory and from this inventory's owner I get the uh, async skeletal mesh async mergeable double async <laughs> I think uh, and I get this component I remove the previously added skeletal mesh assets uh, and uh, I set the new previously added skeletal meshes uh, by getting the old meshes in the inventory and I add the skeletal meshes merging uh, by using the function uh, that I have defined uh, that I described here and uh, that is it and this is uh, very easy to use uh, I hope uh, you will some use case in your project 
uh, this is how I implemented it. Uh, so uh, if you want to learn more uh, about this plugin, you can always uh, go to the related uh, documentation uh, and learn more about it. Uh, some of the function names uh, or settings may change in the future. Uh, if you want to stay updated, uh, please visit this site. If you have uh, more questions or recommendations, you can share them in the comments. And thanks for watching.